In this tutorial, we will learn all the options from Swift command. To switch to 3D modeling, click here and select 3D modeling. Click on unsaved view and select SE isometric. Then give the UCS icon command. Enter. Then choose the no origin option. Then click here on 2D wireframe and select shaded. For Swift command, at first we will have to create one path and one section. I want to create path on this ZY plane. To switch our UCS to ZY plane, click here and select right plane. Then create one path. You can create the path using polyline, 3D polyline, spline and line. I will create it with line. Give the first point, make ortho on, F8 and click the points. Press escape. Then to apply the fillet, click on the fillet command. Then click on radius. Give the radius, I want it to be 7. Then select the first line and the second line. Now these objects are separate. For sweep, this object needs to be connected. To connect these objects, click on modify and select join option. And select all the object and press enter. Now these objects are connected. Then we will need one profile to sweep on this path. That profile we will create on the XZ plane. To switch to XZ print, click on the top here. Then create one profile. I will create one circle and give the radius. Now I will keep the copy of this object to try different options. Then keyboard shortcut for sweep is SW. Enter. Then select the object to sweep. Enter select sweep path and if you want to convert this object into pipe you can use the shell command click here and give the shell command shell select 3d solid then remove faces I want to remove this face orbit it and this face enter then give the shell thickness how much you want I want it to be 0.2 enter and then escape to come out. In this way you can make it hollow. Now next profile I don't want circle. I want a rectangle. I will create one rectangle. And move it. Give the M. Enter. Select the object. Then track the midpoint. And catch the center point And move it to the end point of this. Path. You can give sweep command from here. Click on the arrow below the extrude and select sweep. Then by clicking on this mode option you can choose whether you want solid or surface. Right now I want solid. Then select the object to sweep. This rectangle. Enter. Then I want to apply twist. Click on this twist. Then enter the twist angle. Now this twist angle is one twist is 360 degree or one number of turn is 360 degree. Suppose I want five number of turns therefore I will have to give 360 multiplied by 5 enter so 1800 so I will give the angle of 1800 enter then select the sweep part this one then again sweep then select the object to sweep enter the next option is scale during sweep you can change the scale also click on the scale and enter the scale factor. I will give scale factor of 0 0.5. Enter. Then select the sweep path. So it will change the scale of the profile up to the end. Then you can create surface sweep also. For surface sweep, you will have to create one open profile. We will just trim it. Enter. Remove this and remove this also. And we will keep copy of this also for other trial. Then again click on sweep. Then select object to sweep. Enter. Then there is next option is base point. You can define the base point for the sweep. Click on this base point. Then give the base point. Now I don't want to sweep around the center. But I want to sweep using this point. I will give this point as a base point. And then select the path. It shifted the profile using the base point. And then it made the sweep. And if we give twist to it, it will create beautiful shapes. Click on sweep. Select the object to sweep. 
enter give the twist again we will give 1800 enter then select the sweep path so it has created a shape like a ribbon you can also sweep multiple profiles at the same time for that we will create some profiles suppose here i want to create one circle and i will array this circle give the array command enter select the object enter select the polar give the center point and escape then erase this internal circle now this is an array therefore it cannot be swept directly to separate these circles we will have to use the explode command click on this modify and click on this explode and select this circle and enter now each shape is separated click on sweep select all the profiles then enter then give the twist now i want to create three revolutions therefore i will give angle of 1080 that is 360 multiplied by 3 enter then click on the sweep path give some time to it now here object like rope has been created then we will copy this path then we will create one rectangular profile click on rectangle give the first point give the second point now we want to rotate this profile select the profile click here and select this rotate zigmo then click on this red axis and give the angle i want to rotate it by 140 degree enter escape now this is a inclined profile i will just keep copy of this profile you will see other option click on this sweep then select the profile then enter then click on this alignment now here for alignment i will choose it as a no then select the profile then choose the path curve as i have given no so it has not aligned the profile to the path it has keep it inclined as it is now we will try it with aligned click on sweep then select the object to sweep enter click on alignment click on yes then click on the path now here it has automatically aligned it perpendicular and if we compare these two objects we will just move it and attach it here so that we can compare it escape we will change the color to see the effect now here you can see that there is a change in shape because of the alignment yes and no in this way you can use this alignment option that's all thanks for watching we will stop here